little bit of this, a little bit of that in our practice with some focus on forward bends, which are a type of inversion. Don't worry, there's not going to be any headstands or shoulder stands involved. But anytime you think of an inversion, it's basically when the head is below the heart. So they're very good for the body. They're very good for your thyroid gland, for stimulating your metabolism, for clearing out the cobwebs in your brain. And the yogis say that inversions help to reverse the aging process. So maybe when we're done with class, everybody will be a little bit younger than they were when they started. Wouldn't that be cool? But just a few cautions to go along with that. If you have high blood pressure, particularly if it's not well controlled, only do modified forward bends. In other words, don't let your head come all the way down. Maybe only go part way down. Um, and the same thing with glaucoma. So you need to be cautious if you have increased pressure in your eyes. Um, long held deep forward bends are not recommended if you're dealing with that issue. So let's begin. So we always find a comfortable way to sit, allowing our sit bones to be firmly grounded on the seat of the chair, feet flat on the floor, I'm just gonna roll my shoulders a few times, loosening up any kinks. This weather has been so glorious. I hope you've all been outdoors. Circle in the other direction. And then allowing your eyes to close or just looking softly at the floor. Beginning to turn your attention to your body and your breath. Just be aware of your position seated in the chair. Notice where your legs are, your torso, your arms. Let yourself fully land in this moment. Let's place our hands on our belly so we can begin to feel the belly breath, softening and expanding the breath as you breathe in and then letting the belly sink back towards the spine as you breathe out. Remember, each time you breathe deeply like this, you are stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system, which is rest and digest. Let's take our hands now and place them at the waist. So you can imagine now that you're not only breathing through the belly, but into the sides of the body. Feel the hands expanding outward as you breathe in and sinking back as you breathe out. Then taking one hand and replacing it on the belly and taking the other and placing it on your lower back. And begin to feel the front to back expansion with the breath. We often forget about the back body Moving your hands once again, so you're letting them rest lightly on the upper chest. 
feeling the rib cage lift as you breathe in and sink back down as you exhale. <clears throat> And finally, placing your fingertips at the top of your shoulders so you feel that slight lift at the end of the inhale and feel the shoulders slide down as you exhale. And then releasing your hands back into your lap, seeing if you can continue that awareness of breathing in all four directions. Front to back, side to side, top to bottom. Let's take two more complete breaths here, please. Letting that technique go, just letting your natural breath come back and noticing how you feel. We'll bring our centering to close by joining hands in front of our hearts and joining our voices in an OM. Deep breath in. OM. OM. Shanti. Peace. Great. Opening your eyes, closed, bringing your arms up and floating them down. So remembering to add the lift of your head if that feels right as you breathe in and allowing the chin to drop towards the chest as you breathe out. Breathing in, lifting your gaze. Breathing out, arms float down, chin drops. Good, once more breathing in. And exhale, breathing out. Letting your hands rest on your thighs. Let's move through the six movements of the spine. So we always wanna make sure that we don't forget about our feet, that we allow them to be flat on the floor, back away from the back of the chair so your muscles are engaged. Spine is straight. Here we go, breathing into dog. The chest move forward, head looks up. Shoulders back, good. Exhaling, rounding your spine into cat. That's why you want that space behind your back so you can curl up, good. Inhale, open wide, exhale, close. So breathing in as you open the chest and exhale, close. Let's do that once more, open. And this time as the head looks up, maybe opening and closing your jaw a few times, letting go of any tension, letting out any sounds that wanna come out and then rounding once more, letting the breath go into cat. Good, and bringing it back to neutral. We'll move into our twist now, starting with the right arm. Breathe in, create length, create strength. Bring that palm to your left knee, left hand to the chair. Always keeping your chin lined up with the center of your chest. Adding a cross of the left leg over the right, if you like. One more breath. 
And then on the exhale, guide yourself back around. Let's do the other version of the twist. So I'm going to bring both of my feet over to the left side of the chair. Nice straight spine. Breathe in and on an exhale, reach around behind you to hold on to the back of the chair. But hold on, lower down on the chair so your shoulders relax. I see Sweet Pea has already gone into Savasana. You're probably gonna hear her snoring in a minute. You have to learn how to relax, Sweet Pea. Let's take one more breath here. And then on the next inhale, guide yourself around to the front. And let's do those on the other side. So the left arm stretches out, nice and long, lots of energy. Palm comes to the knee, hand to the side of your chair. Good. I'm gonna cross my right leg over the left. One more breath. And the exhale releases that and we move into the other version. So both feet to the right. Again, nice straight spine to begin. Inhaling and exhaling, reaching around behind you. Shoulders relax. Staying with your breath. And the next inhale, we release the twist, come all the way around to the front and get ready for the last two of the six movements, threading the needle. So we'll start with the right arm. Again, we always create length and energy in the arm before threading it through. And if this is as far as your body wants to go, that's perfectly fine, but you can go a little deeper, creating a gentle forward fold. And you can sweep the left arm out to the side or even overhead. What feels best to you today? Use the next in-breath to take you out of Thread the Needle before we move to the other side. Left arm, thread it through. Ease yourself in. Arm out to the side or overhead if that feels good. center. Good. So we'll do our seated forward fold. And if you remember, we do this in stages. So you find just the right level of stretch that works for you. I'm going to begin with my feet directly under my knees. And we're going to do this with the wave breath. So it's a reaching forward and a breathing back. Breathing forward and exhale, bringing it back. So you're creating wave after wave with your spine. Easing yourself into it. So if you'd like the stretch to be a little deeper, you simply move your feet about a foot away. Make sure you're nice and stable on your chair. If you need to hold on, you can always hold on. still breathing with the wave. So for those of you who would like to go even deeper, I'm going to reach my feet a little further. There's still a little bit of bend in my knee. Continuing with the wave breath. Breathing in, reaching the chest forward. 
And the next time I come forward, I'm going to hold. So if you'd like, you can hold on to the chair or the legs of the chair. The further forward your feet are, the more deeply you'll feel this stretch in your hamstrings. Great, and let's inhale and come all the way up. Take a minute just to sit and take a couple of breaths. Good. Breathe your arms out from the shoulders, turn your palms up. So imagine that you're carrying something very heavy in each hand. Allow the sensations in your arms and shoulders to build. Take a couple of breaths. Good. Now inhale and as you exhale, fingertips come to the shoulders and inhale open. Exhale, fingertips to shoulders. Inhale, open. A couple more times. Breathing in. And this time when your fingers land on your shoulders, begin to draw some circles with the elbow. Just warming up the shoulders, warming up the upper body. Great. And then switch it up, go the other way. And then if you want, you can have one going one way and one going the other way. Switch it up again. Every time you do movements like this, it wakes your brain up as well as your body. Good. So keeping your fingertips on your shoulders, we're gonna bring the elbow to the opposite knee with an exhale. Here we go, breathe in, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, bring it up, exhale down. So each time you come up, see if you can, Draw your elbows back a little bit. Inhaling, opening. Exhale, closing. Again, open. Okay, we're beginning with those forward bends. So notice how your body is reacting. Let's do a couple more of those. Exhaling. Breathe your palms out, turn them down, float your arms back and notice how your arms and shoulders feel. So let's wake up the fingers a little bit. Just wiggle your fingers. We're gonna do something fun. Shake your hands out a little bit. Good. So interlace your fingers like you're saying your prayers here, but the fingers are curled. Good. And we're just going to do figure eights with the hands. So just very slowly keeping your shoulders and your elbows relaxed. Just weave your hands in a figure eight. Make sure your shoulders stay soft and the breath stays steady. And then pause and go in the other direction. Great, bring that to stillness. Now, when I told you to interlace your fingers, you probably did it without even thinking, and that's your habitual pattern. So what I'm gonna ask you to do now is change the cross of your fingers. So the opposite finger is on top. Doesn't that feel strange? Great, so let's do that figure eight again. Nice and slow, working down into the wrist. Ooh, a little bit of crunching and crackling there. And then pause and go the other way. Your brain is so happy now, it's waking up. 
and then release that and just shake those fingers out one more time. Let them rest on your thighs. So I'm gonna bend my right knee and draw it up. Make sure you're not leaning back in your chair and let's circle the ankle. So again, you have lots of options with the knee bend. If the knee can only come up a little bit, that's fine. You can hold on with your hands or you can use your yoga tie. I'm gonna circle some more. Other way. Great. And let's get ready for the figure four stretch here. So crossing wherever is comfortable for you. I'm gonna place my ankle up on top of my left thigh and gently press down on the knee, pull up on the foot, create a nice tall seat. And if you like leaning forward. Stay with one breath at a time. Your attention will follow where your breath is. One more breath. Let's inhale and come up. And before we release the position of the legs, let's come into a twist. So I'm gonna take my left hand, bring it to the left knee and twist. Nice steady breath. Nice, relaxed shoulders. And let's breathe it back to center. Uncross the legs and pause for a breath. Other side. Left knee comes up. Give yourself plenty of time to settle in. Don't rush. 100%. You might want to start slow and just bring it up gradually. Let's circle the ankle. Great. Ready for the figure four stretch? Let's do it. Choosing the position sitting up tall, and again, gently pressing down on the knee. You wanna be reading the, the sensation in the upper outer part of your left hip. How much stretch is gonna work for you this morning? Forward fold if that feels right. Check in with your shoulders. Make sure they're nice and soft. Breathe. Great, and up you go. Let's come into our twist on this side. So it's the right hand now that's coming to the left knee. Breathe in and lengthen. Breathe out and twist. And the next inhale will guide us back to the front. Uncross the legs and take a breath. Let's salute the sun, which is so gloriously shining out there this morning. So pressing the palms together, feet flat on the floor, spine straight. Good. Let's breathe in and sweep arms up. Exhale, reach it back. Come back through mountain and now opening the arms, folding forward, forward bend. Palms to the knees, lengthen the spine, come up halfway. 
Exhaling and folding. Inhale, arms sweep up. Let's reach it back. Take the breath in and then let it go to your heart. Let's do one more of those because they feel so good. Breathing in. Exhale, reaching back. Breathing into mountain and letting it go as you fold forward. Palms to knees, come up halfway. Exhale and fold. Inhaling arms, sweep up. Reaching back. Breathing into mountain and exhaling to the heart where we pause. And breathe. So always remembering with uh, sun salutations, there are lots of options in how you do them. If you do them quickly, um, it tends to bring up energy and heat. If you do them slowly, it makes it more like a meditation in motion. So feel free to adapt how you do the sun salutes in your practice at home. Okay. We'll come up to standing and we'll come up through chair pose. So allowing your feet to move back slightly so they're under the chair, the heels are up. Hands come to your waist. As Soon as you begin to stand, allow your heels to drop down to the floor. Deep breath in, engage those core muscles and stand up, shoulders back, knees are slightly bent. Feel the full surface of both feet on the floor. Good, if you want it a little more intense, add your arms, reach for the sky as you press your feet into the floor. Good, one more breath. Can we do it? Yes, we can. And exhale, lower the arms, straighten the knees. And let's just wiggle the legs a little bit. So come on to the back of your chair. We're gonna go through the um, moon salutation. I'm gonna put my tie out of the way here. And if you would like not to use your chair for support, that's always an option. And the other option is you can just do the movements with one hand or the other. You don't have to use both hands. So here we go. Breathe the arms up. Again, you can use one hand if you like. Take a breath in and as you exhale, we're gonna exhale and bend directly to the right. Left hip moves out to the side. Breathe into the side body. Lengthen through the arms, press your feet into the floor. On an inhale, come up, take a minute to lengthen through center, and then exhale to the left. And always with every standing pose, making sure your knees are nice and soft. Good. Inhale up through center. We're gonna come into a back bend now. So to keep your arms extended is a little more of an effort. So you can bring your arms out to the side or you can even bring your palms to support your lower back and always you can keep one hand or both on your chair. Here we go, breathe in, exhale, hips move forward, shoulders and arms move back. Good, inhale up, take a minute to lengthen, and then half moon to the left, 
Let both arms be nice and straight. And half moon to the right. And back through center and release. Take a breath. So we'll do our pose we've dubbed the shooting star. So you're gonna reach up with the left arm and release the right foot. And then other side. Great. And shift. You can even bend a little more deeply through center to help you lift off. And reach. And reach. And this time I'm going to hold over in one side. You can even let go of the chair if you like. Great, let's go to the other side, bend and reach and hold, release the chair. It's always an option and release, good. Let's pause for a downward facing dog. So you can either walk your feet away from the back of the chair or you can put your hands on the seat of the chair, a little bit deeper. Breath comes in, breath goes out. Let's pedal the feet. So you're bending one knee at a time a little more deeply. And this is an inversion because your head is below your heart. So take care if you have the blood pressure or the eye pressure issue. Might wanna come not quite so far. And then just pause, stretch, give your head a shake. Good, and walk back towards your chair. So I'm gonna move to the left side of my chair and step my feet apart. So nice soft knees, reaching out with the left arm. And if I don't need the right arm, to hold on to the chair, I'm coming into five pointed star. Press into your feet, press out through your fingers, lift through your crown. Feel that breath in all four directions as you're in five pointed star. Good, from here we'll move into triangle pose. So I'm going to turn my right foot. So the toes are facing the chair, left toes turn in slightly. I'm gonna bring my hand to my left hip just to remind it to move back a little bit. Great. Left arm reaches up and over. You can release the chair if you feel secure. One breath at a time. See if you can reach a little bit further. Take one more breath. Exhale, let it go, reach it up. Place that hand down on your thigh. Reach up with the right arm. Nice counter stretch. Let's move into straight legged runner stretch. So I'm gonna leave the right foot right where it is and I'm gonna turn the left foot so the toes are facing the, the chair. So remember with this stretch to bend directly from your hip crease so your back stays flat. It's more like reaching forward rather than rounding. Here we go, breathe in, reach, 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 soft knees hands to the chair, hands behind you, always options. Nice, easy breath.
Good, and let the next inhale bring you back up. I'm gonna do a little back bend here just because it feels good to reset. And step the feet together. Pause for just a couple of breaths before we go to the other side. Here we go. Okay, so nice, comfortable stance. And again, it doesn't have to be a super wide position. You know, it can be just a small step. If you feel safe, you can make the stance a little bit bigger. Let's move into five point and star. So right arm reaches out, left arm reaches out, soften those knees, feel the four directions of the breath. Front to back, side to side, top to bottom your whole body breathing and enjoying the breath. Good, let's move into Trikonasana, which is triangle. So this time the left toes are going to face the chair and the right is gonna turn in slightly. Right hand to the right hip so you can guide this hip back. So the front of the body faces the front, nice and open. Let's reach up with that right arm and stretch. Don't lock your knees, adjust your gaze. Release the hand from the chair if that feels good. Nice, easy breaths. Good, let's inhale, reach that right arm up, drop it down, come into your counter stretch. Find your breath. Great, and straight legged runner stretch on this side. So both feet now face the chair. Bending, I like to put my hand right on the hip crease and that reminds me that that's where the fold is going to come from. Here we go, exhale. So I'm thinking about increasing the distance between the top of my head and my tailbone. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Positioning your hands wherever you feel safest, most comfortable, Remember, you're not going to get the benefits from the stretch if you're struggling because it's just going to create tension. Good. Inhale, guide yourself up. And again, a little bit of a counter stretch. I'm just going to reach back. Maybe draw my shoulder blades together a little bit. and release, step your feet together. So we're gonna take a seat again, but normally when we do chair pose, we come up into chair pose. This time we're going to come down to the chair through chair pose. So position yourself in front of your chair, feet are hip width apart, hands at your hips to begin. We always wanna start in a, the most gentle way and then add to it if we would like to. Good. So inhale, exhale, create a little bend in your knees. Arms reach forward or overhead. Nice steady breath. Again, you can come out anytime you like. I'm just gonna hold here for two more breaths. Good. Lowering your hands, begin to press your legs back. 
so you can feel the seat of the chair against the back of your legs and then sit down. Eyes level with the horizon. Good, take a minute just to breathe and relax. Hmm. Good. So let's finish up with just a couple more seated twists and then we'll have our relaxation at the end. So just a nice easy twist to the left. Twists are always helpful to move energy up the spine. Coming back through center and just let yourself move directly towards the other side. Twisting to the right. Guiding yourself back to center, letting your hands come to rest, closing your eyes, connecting with the breath. And taking the time to check in with each part of your body, all the way from the tips of your toes, all the way up through the crown of your head and out through your fingers. Noticing any shifts in how your body feels, how your energy feels. Yoga is a learning experience where we make friends with our bodies and ourselves. Keep bringing your attention back to the body, to the breath. If your thoughts should wander, it's perfectly fine. Letting your breath deepen just a little bit Maybe taking in a breath and letting it go with a sigh. Ah, that feels good. I'm going to do it one more time. Deep breath in. Let it go with a sigh. Ah, good. Open your arms wide. And wrapping yourself in an embrace. Let's open wide one more time and cross the arms in the other direction. Give yourself a hug. Letting the hands come to rest once again at the heart. We'll close our practice with an om. Om. Shanti, peace. May all beings everywhere know peace. Namaste. Jai Bhagwan. Happy spring. Happy Passover and a joyous Easter. <laughs>